Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. I just thought I'd give you another selection of books that you might be interested in reading. Some of them are directly related to climate change and some of them kind of peripherally. And this is a peripheral one. It's called Cloud Money and it's by Brett Scott. And he discusses the risks of central bank digital currencies and why that would be a bad idea and how important it is for us to have cash. He, one of the things he notes in here is that whenever there's an incoming natural disaster, you know, like a big hurricane or something like that and people are forewarned about it, one of the first things people do is go to the ATM and take out a lot of cash because they know that for the next week or two it's going to be very difficult to use an ATM or a credit card if the power lines are down, right? So that's one of the value, values of having uh, portable, actual, physical cash rather than relying on a digital world where, you know, uh, one bad storm or a solar flare or an EMP, God forbid, and that's it. No cash, no means of transaction. Um, for people who are interested in the power grid and investments in wind and solar, you might want to have a look at uh, Steve Gorham's new book called Green Breakdown, The Coming Renewable Energy Failure. Now that might be hard to believe because we're being told every day how renewables are so much cheaper and they're free and how wonderful they are, but um, he's uh, found that there's uh, big trouble ahead for the energy transition and in fact in 2018 I think it was, the CEO of Iberdrola, which is a Spanish renewable energy firm, said that the global renewable industry was on the verge of a, an Enron-style global meltdown. And in fact, I just saw a video about solar production in China, and it looks like there's a glut of solar on the market, and that's going to have really negative impact in China and the rest of the world, because a lot of the world's money is actually invested in China. So uh, another great book is False Alarm. This is by Rex Fleming, and this was issued actually about the time that Clintel really took off, the climate intelligence group out of uh, the Netherlands, and they actually mentioned me in the book because I did a, a video just reading the Clintel press release because the media wouldn't pick it up and publish anything about it. Anyway, and it overnight got about 700,000 views before Facebook started blocking it. Um, so that's just a little side note. I, I am in there. These are not promotional videos, by the way. I'm just telling you books that I enjoy reading. Um, this is one that I can't read very well because my French is not that great now, but it's called Les Dérangements du Temps, 500 Years of Hot and Cold in Europe. And uh, I was uh, re thinking of this the other day when I was reading a John Robson article in the Dorchester Review. And John Robson is a historian. He does write on a number of other things as well, but he also writes about climate and he runs the... Uh, uh, climate ne discussion nexus site and his Dorchester Review article was about the fact that if we look at history we find that climate has always changed and this is another very good book uh, on that theme this one was also translated from French times of feast and times of famine so I have the English version but there is a French version but I find it to be very interesting to see what kind of dramatic changes there were in climate in the past. And people today who are worried about 1.5 degrees Celsius, <laughs> you know, Mother Nature has a lot of surprises up her sleeve for you guys. Another great book is uh, Shorting the Grid, The Hidden Fragility of Our Electric Grid. Uh, and this is very pertinent to today, pertinent to all of North America, certainly and uh, the EU. Uh, basically by adding all these renewables to the grid without having sufficient um, backup and transmission, we're putting ourselves at risk of eternal blackouts and uh, perhaps catastrophic ones. And then on a 
cheerier note, um, I ran into this one actually at our event this fall because uh, Steve was there selling his books. It's the 900-year climate cycle, an analysis of global events in the Holocene. So nice book, you know, big, um, big pages, some illustrations, uh, very interesting evaluation of natural cycles. So that's what I have for you right now, and uh, I hope that these suggestions might spark some interest and, you know, that you'll find some of these things valuable to read and understand. Um, for Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling. Mm -hmm.